Tucker Carlson sucks Putin's cock live on TV as the world watches him swallow his cum. Global news still missing as journalists make do by reporting nothing at all, nothing at all, nothing at all. Identity politics, just what we need, say wealthy bankers who own you like livestock. <laughs> Hello, non-combatants. Welcome to the fucking news. I'm Tucker Carlson. Here are the headlines tonight. In a global exclusive, I, Tucker Carlson, prostituted myself on global internet streams and sucked the cock of President Vladimir Putin. My tongue caressed his shiny helmet as he worked the shaft. He cooed and moaned as I let him thrust it deep down my throat, finally shooting his creamy dictator jism down my throat in an extended orgasm of imaginary history and facile justification for the murder of civilians. And viewers, let me tell you, I swallowed every drop and it was great. Here's some of the highlights. President Putin, the world wants to know what your cum tastes like. Would you let me, Tucker Carlson, suck your cock and tell them? Oh yes, I can tell you my ejaculate is a thousand years old. Everybody wants to suck my cock and taste it. Here, why don't you open wide, Tucker, and get started? Mmm, oh my god, your cock tastes great. Mmm, oh my god, Putin. Mm, shh, Tucker. Shh, Tucker. Don't say a word. Just suck, okay? Mmm, oh, Tucker. You suck good. Oh, oh, oh. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Your cum tasted exactly as I thought it would. You're very welcome, Tucker. Off you go now. Don't dribble. In other news, President Joe Biden can't remember the last time anyone sucked his cock. Officially. In a recent court case, President Biden was challenged to recall the last time anyone had his octogenarian cock in their mouth. But he couldn't. The best he could do was to try and remember, uh, I think something happened when Jesse was hoovering once, but it was a long time ago. There you have it, proof that Joe Biden is unfit to have his cock sucked by the American people. Now on the fucking news, we bring you an update on the long-running story of the missing news. Much of the world's news has been missing for many years. Media efforts to find it have so far failed, and police in Gaza, where the news was last seen, are still searching for clues and questioning suspects. Since its disappearance, journalists from TV, radio, and newspapers have filled their publications with nothing, nothing to report, nothing to see, nothing happening, nothing to be said or done. Editors for the world's greatest news organization said, we think there's a lot going on in the world. You know, war, famine, corruption, the biggest mass extinction since the dinosaurs 64 million years ago, the creation a new world order of tyrannical capitalists using religion as a front for conflict and fear, as a tool to manipulate the brainwashed landless peasantry, but we just can't find it. It's as though the news just vanished. We hope the news is safe somewhere, and we have posted a reward of millions of dollars for its safe return. Viewers of the news have been comforted by friends and family. They made this statement to the press a few hours ago. This is a very difficult time for us without the news. Our lives are empty and uninformed. It's now months since we've had any news. Until we have evidence to the contrary, we believe the news is alive and well, being looked after by someone. We will continue to buy newspapers and watch the telly, reading and watching nothing new or informative about the thousands of dead and dying all over Earth, the rape of the planet, the genocide in Palestine, the billions of humans living under slavery in China, the destruction of our own planet simply to make rich fuckers richer. Thank you for your support. And there will be much more on that story later. Finally tonight, identity politics. The most important cultural shift in society since the 60s? Or total pish, swamping our lives to distract us from other issues some people would rather we didn't think about. Check this out. 
people used to campaign against the arms trade, against poverty, against rape of the planet, the poisoning of our food, air, water, ha 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 ha. Now they campaign to make you swallow any woke pish that comes down the giant cock of lies pishing untruth into your wide open mouth. Black lives matter in a country with more black millionaires than any other nation on earth. Gender equality laws in countries with millions of children in poverty, malnourished babies, mothers lacking health care. Ha ha ha, you fucking muppets. It wouldn't be so funny if it wasn't for the earnest way these issues are promoted by corporations themselves. Google, Nike, Ben and Jerry's et al. saying they are donating to the causes of Black Lives Matter, diversity, gender equality, etc. When in fact if you follow the money they donated to the election funds of senators, congressmen, to the tax write-off offices of the most illiberal, anti-progressive people ever. Ha <laughs> ha, what a fucking joke, crank it up, come on, let's have pronoun hate laws in nations where children die of starvation and old people freeze to death as energy company profits soar. Ha ha ha. Let's have critical race theory in nations where women of all colors are beaten to death by their spouses in greater numbers than any ethnic minority. Let's have campaigns for safe streets for women. While deaths from cancers caused by wholesale pollution of our environment go on unabated and unnoticed, you are all fucking crazy and deserve the poison tyranny and oppression of these planet-raping fuckers while you whine and agitate for your pronouns and educational workplace reform, like slaves with a union that lobbies for better haircuts and more salt on the gruel. Have a nice die-off in the coming climate change mass extinction. Ha 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 ha. Thanks, and now the weather. The planet's fucked, it's your fault, and it's getting worse. Have a nice weekend! In the year 2030, the world was on the brink of mass extinction due to the devastating effects of climate change. The planet was suffering from extreme weather events, rising sea levels, and dwindling resources. It seemed like there was no hope for humanity. But then the astronomers stepped in. A cosmic religious order of sane, rational libertarian aliens, they had been studying the cosmos for years, and they had seen problems like this on many planets. They believed the key to saving the planet was getting rid of all the stupid people on Earth. The astronomers argued that it was the ignorance of morons that had led to the destruction of the planet. They believed that by removing those who were unwilling to change and embrace knowing things and being rational, they could avert the impending disaster. And so, the astronomers set out to re-educate the world. They used their knowledge of the universe to show people the workings of the natural world. They taught them about the importance of sustainability and conservation, balance, harmony. They showed them how to get rid of morons by destroying superstition and mumbo-jumbo. Many people resisted at first, clinging to their old ways and refusing to accept the truth. But the astronomers were persistent. They used their influence and expertise to convince world leaders to take action. Soon having a magical belief or fantasy worldview about divine beings and the afterlife was a thing of the past. And slowly but surely, the world began to change. People started to see the error of their ways and embrace knowledge and reason. They worked together to stop emissions and capture carbon from the atmosphere, protect endangered species, and restore ecosystems. In the end, thanks to the efforts of the astronomers, mass extinction was averted. The planet was saved, and humanity was given a second chance. And it was all because a group of aliens had finally spread the greatest religion in universe to Earth. on this planet, printed out of earthly DNA by information photons from distant worlds, are aliens among us, travelers from other realms, visitors, conquerors, have our dreams become real. Our wishes made flesh. 
the alien survivor, the good alien, the god alien, the demon alien, our future imagined. Imagine by 